Hi everyone, marhaba, this is Shariq and welcome back to another lesson with Globetrot with Arabic. Today is the third day in our 30 day challenge. As I told you before, I'm uploading one lesson every day for a period of 30 days. So just like I'm challenging myself and uploading lessons every single day, I would like you as well to try at least to challenge yourself to study every day and to do your homework every day. Um, so let's try to say this sentence in Arabic. I will say today is the third day uh, of the challenge that we are doing. So, اليوم ثالث يوم بالتحدي or بالتحدي يلي عم نعمله. اليوم ثالث يوم بالتحدي يلي عم نعمله. اليوم with a له sound in the beginning means today. اليوم ثالث يوم ثالث means third. And yom means day. So yom means today, but yom means day. So yom, akhir yom, bittahadde. Tahadde means challenge. Bittahadde means in the challenge. We write it biltahadde because il tahadde means the challenge. Bil tahadde in the challenge, but that's how we write it. We don't pronounce it bil tahadde. We drop the lamb sound and we pronounce it bit tahadde because the word tahadde starts with the ta and the ta is a sun letter. That's why when we add the l to it, it's better if we don't pronounce it il tahadde. We pronounce it it tahadde, bit tahadde. So yom telet yom. بالتحدي in the challenge يلي عم نعمله يلي which عم نعمله so نعمل means we do عم نعمل means we are doing and عم نعمله means we are doing it in the masculine اللي عم نعمله so basically in English what you say is which we are doing in Arabic you say which we are doing it okay one more time. اليوم ثالث يوم بالتحدي يلي عم نعمله. We will study about prepositions, prepositions of place. On, in, next to, above, under, these. Okay? So, we will need to know the words طاولي, طاولي, which is a table, and كرسي, كرسي is a chair. طاولي and كرسي. Ready? Yalla, let's begin. I will stand up and I will put myself next to the chair and the table, okay? And I will ask the question, when Anna? When Anna? When means where? Anna means I. When Anna? Where am I? So you see, I'm not saying where am I. We don't have the am in Arabic. We, I'm just saying where I, which means where am I? When Anna, where am I? Anna, let's begin. First of all, Anna bil matbakh. Anna bil matbakh. B means in. So this is the preposition of a place. In. B. Anna B. Il matbakh. The kitchen. Pronounced as bil matbakh. Anna bil matbakh. Now, Anna we fe. We fe is I am standing. Again, it's not literally I am standing. In our lesson yesterday, we spoke about participles and we said that in Arabic, we use participles to describe uh, the present continuous or a state. For example, in this case, I'm saying I am the stander. Anna we fe. I am the stander in the feminine form. If you're a guy, you would say Anna we if. Anna we fe. I am standing, okay? Anna we fe. Now, I am standing next to the table. Anna we fe had the Anna we fe had a taule. So had means next to a taule. I'm pronouncing it a taule, but we will write it il taule, okay? Anna we fe had the Now, this is the chair. I'm sitting on the chair. Anna e'ade in this case. You see, I used e'ade again. I used I am the sitter, which means I am the person who sits or I am sitting basically. I used Anna e'ade because I'm using the feminine form because I'm a girl. But if you're a guy, you would say Anna e'ad, not Anna e'ade. Okay, so Anna we'fi, I am standing, Anna e'ade. Okay, so 
again انا واقفه حد الطاوله I'm standing next to the table انا قاعده على الكرسي so what did I do here I used على but I abbreviated it I can say انا قاعده على on على الكرسي and with the liaison I'm gonna pronounce it انا قاعده على الكرسي but I can also abbreviate the ala, make it smaller. Instead of saying ana e'ade ala al-kirse, which is fine, you can say that, I'm abbreviating it and I'm saying ana e'ade al kirse. Okay, let's repeat. Ana we'fe next to ana we'fe had tawle. Ana e'ade al kirse. So we know now next to and we know on. Let's say between. Ana أنا بين بين الطاولة والكرسي. I will say it slowly. أنا بين بين الطاولة pronounced as الطاولة والكرسي. و means and ال means the كرسي means chair. والكرسي and the chair. أنا بين الطاولة والكرسي. I'm not saying el tawli. I'm saying ana bain al Always with the liaison. Every time you have the el, which is the the, pretend it's part of the previous word and make a liaison. Okay? Ana bain al wil kirsi. I am between the table and the chair. Sometimes I say bain and sometimes I say bain. It's exactly the same. Ana bain al wil kirsi. Or ana bin tawli wil kirsi. And I can of course say ana wi'fi, I am standing. Ana wi'fi bin tawli wil kirsi. Okay, so to recap, ana had tawli, I am next to the table. Ana al kirsi, I am on the chair. Ana bin tawli wil kirsi. Now, let's take just this chair and I'm gonna say I'm standing. In front of the chair. Ana wefe again. I am standing. Ana wefe edem in front of. Ana wefe edem el kirsi. Edem el kirsi. And with a liaison, I am pronouncing it. Ana wefe edem el kirsi. Ana wefe edem el kirsi. Ana eade al kirsi. Ana wefe had the and أنا واقفة بين الطاولة والكرسي. Now let me say I am behind the chair. أنا ورا الكرسي. ورا. And with the liaison, I'm gonna pronounce it. أنا ورا الكرسي. Again. أنا ورا الكرسي. أنا ورا الكرسي. Faster. Now. When I said had, I didn't specify if I'm on the left or I'm on the right, so I can specify this. Now I am standing on the right of the chair and on the left of the table. So I'm gonna say Anna on the right. A on Yamin right. A Yamin on. I'm not saying on the right, I'm saying on right. Yes, that's how you say it in Arabic. I mean on right, el kirsi, the chair. On the right of the chair. Ana I mean el kirsi. I'm not saying al yamin el kirsi. No, I'm saying ana a yamin el kirsi. So you put the el to kirsi. You don't say to, in English you would say, for example, to the right of the chair. In Arabic you say to right of the chair. Ana ayamin el kirsi. And what's the a? It's on, right? But I abbreviated, so I could have said ana ala yamin el kirsi, which is perfectly fine. But I use more ana ayamin el kirsi. Ana ayamin el kirsi. Ana ashmel el kirsi. A on shmel. Left, el, I'm sorry, it's not kirsi, it's tawli. Ana ashmel tawli. Ana a shmel left tawli. And I could have a kid said 
انا عشمال الطاولة or انا على شمال الطاولة again when it comes to the left exactly as the right I don't say I am on the left of the table I'm saying I left of the table انا عشمال الطاولة so انا عيمين الكرسي I am on the right of the chair انا عشمال الطاولة I can say I'm standing انا واقفة عيمين الكرسي انا واقفة عشمال الكرسي If I'm a guy, what should I say? واقفة or واقف? واقف انا واقف عيمين الكرسي انا واقف عشمال الطاولة or عشمال Taule, which is nicer. So if you, I don't know if you're calling someone and you're telling them, I'm standing next to this shop, come meet me here, or if you're lost or something, you can say, Ana waif or Ana waifi, ayamin, whatever, ayamin al pharmacy, for example, on the right of the pharmacy, or had al pharmacy, on the right of the pharmacy, uh, next to the pharmacy. Okay? So quickly, let's recap one more time. Ana had al taule, I am next to the table. Ana. قاعدة على الكرسي or على الكرسي on the chair أنا واقفة قدام الكرسي أنا واقفة حد الكرسي or I can say أنا واقفة بين الطاولة والكرسي or I can also say أنا واقفة عشمال الطاولة on the left of the chair أنا واقفة عيمين الكرسي on the right of the chair and أنا واقفة ورا الكرسي I am standing behind the chair uh, وين أنا؟ <تصفيق> أنا تحت الطاولة <تصفيق> okay. أنا تحت الطاولة I am under the table so, أنا تحت الطاولة if I'm under the table um, أنا تحت الكرسي if I'm under the chair let's take the, this um, question تكاية تكاية so I can say التكاية تحت الطاولة It's under the table التكاية تحت الكرسي the, um, the cushion is under the chair We have one more Let me give you one more Let's say I'm turning around the chair أنا عم بمشي I am turning oh, Sorry, I am walking أنا عم بمشي I am walking أنا عم بمشي حول الكرسي أنا عم بمشي حول الكرسي or I can say حوالين الكرسي it's exactly the same so حول around or حوالين الكرسي حوالين الكرسي or حول الكرسي so I think it's enough or oh, I can also tell you above okay uh, for example a dough the light Uh, for a toilet, it's above the table. It's not on the table. It's above the table. So that's for. And some people pronounce it for. For a toilet or for a toilet. A dough. We will write it il dough, but we will pronounce it a dough because it starts with da, which is a sun letter. So a dough for a toilet above the table. It's not on the table. It's not a toilet. فوق الطاولة like for example the flowers الزهور على الطاولة they are on the table الزهور الزهور pronounced as الزهور الزهور على الطاولة how do you say in the in the vase we use vase in Lebanese which is a French French word we say الزهور بالفاز in the vase الزهور بالفاز okay I think these are uh, enough for today, these prepositions. So we learned على, on, had, next to, عيمين ال, something, which is on the right of something, عشمال ال, something, uh, on the left of something, and الدام, uh, which is in front of, ورا, behind, حول, or حوالين, around, And for is above. Tahit means under and B means in. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. 
and I will write the list of these words and sentences we used for today and the prepositions we used today in a nice list translated all together and I will upload that list on my Instagram and on my Facebook. You can go there, you can take a snapshot of it, you can write them down. Always listen many, many, many times to the sentences you hear, do some pad at work, repeat, repeat, repeat every time. The more you repeat and the more you listen and the more you pause with brief sentences, the better. This is how you can internalize a language by listening, looking, reading, writing, combining everything together, okay? That's it for today again and don't forget to put your homework in the description box below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!